gonna, oh, he's a puppet. Oh, he's a puppet. It just got better. He's a, oh, I've just made him, oops. <laughs> you are all doing well so today I am somewhere incredibly exciting I am at the oldest art store in the USA this art store opened in 1852 it's in Worcester Massachusetts there's people walking by and I'm very embarrassed I'm currently around the back of the store because there's a lot of people around the front of the store and I'm too embarrassed to vlog in public even though I'm doing it today please be proud of me <laughs> so the store is actually a lot bigger than I was expecting and they have this beautiful artwork on the back it's so cute I'm not sure who actually made this I'll see if I can find a signature but they have a curbside pickup as you can see on the back they even have like a little phone number there we go so it's by Nikki Davis this is so adorable the parking out the back they have quite a nice amount of parking spaces too it goes off around the corner there but really beautiful store and when you walk around the sides this is so cute look how quaint this is such a quaint little town we have the art supplies custom framing gift and craft art supplies decorative paper so this is the store since 1852 they even have these cute little markets on Saturdays I remember that they were telling me about this so really really cute I wasn't too sure what the mask mandate would be like in Massachusetts, but apparently they're okay in this store if you are vaccinated to not wear a mask. I am fully vaccinated, but I, out of courtesy for other people and also because I'm more comfortable wearing a mask, I'll wear a mask if I'm around other people, but if there's sort of no one around me, I'll probably take it off. So this was the year that it was actually opened, 1852. They have this really cute little mural on the floor. This is such a beautiful store. This is so cute. We have a bunch of fabrics here. I'm so excited. Well, I've taken my mask off because nobody's around me at the moment, but basically this store right here, they have literally everything. They have a giant unit full of Posca markers. She called it the Posca uh, refrigerator. The owner, Kristen, she has been showing me around the store. She showed me some amazing artifacts from the store. Um, and actually, this is not the original location that it opened in, um, but basically it's still the oldest in the nation. Another store I really want to visit is the biggest art store in the USA, which I believe is in Buffalo, New York. So if you would like to see me do that, feel free to let me know in the comments down below or give the video a thumbs up if you would like to see that. We have all kinds of artifacts. Um, oh wow, this is so cool. Isn't that neat? So up here it tells you like the places we were. We've always been in Worcester, Massachusetts. Right. So from the beginning, yeah. um, before it was CeCe Lowell, it was White's Paint Company. You can see back in there, that one has recipes in it. Oh wow. For medicine, which I don't quite understand why, but that's from 1847. Wow, that's so, so cool. It's really, really cool. Yeah, the funny thing is that art supplies haven't changed that much right. since the 1800s. They've just packaged them differently. Yeah. And become a little bit less deadly to some of them. <laughs> cool, this is true. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, like Higgins Inc. right there, uh, right. is we still sell Higgins Inc. to wow, this day. It's so in that awesome. catalog from the 1800s. Like we that's have, amazing. Um, you know, some of the same things, the right. uh, pens and nibs and paints or, they're all the same thing we still use. That's so awesome. Yeah. Thank you for that. Sure. Okay, when is this from? 90, February 15th, 1928. From November 1928, they've got the little price list. Um, some instruction manuals and things like that. They've got a bunch of old paints. He's telling me about this really cool leather paint right here. I've never used it before. It's called Angelus and it's only 350. Three, sorry, 310 for this leather paint. I'm actually, I feel like I've seen this before. Um, it might be quite fun to customize some bags or shoes or something, but she was telling me this is very, very popular at the moment. Got some Mod Podge, love that. Metal flakes, metal leaf. I've never used this, but I know this is incredibly popular. If you've used this before, feel free to let me know because I'd be curious what you think of it. So this is the entrance right here as you come in. And the first thing you see is the framing area right over there. You have some sketchbooks all the way along here. So you have big ones, some small ones. They literally have everything in this store. That's so cute. I love this. This is so cute. What is this? A magnetic Bob Ross. I'm going to have to buy that. Like, I need to buy that. <laughs> Little Bob. I can put him on the fridge. Look at his hair. He's so cute. I don't know where his legs are gone, but 
He's cute. I'm gonna. Oh, he's a puppet. Oh, he's a puppet. It just got better. He's a. Oh, I've just made him. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Making you indecent. He's coming home with me. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the joy of painting. My name is Bob Ross, and I have no legs. It's a little changing room. It's not, I'm joking. Um, they have all of these free books that you can go through and take anything that may pique your interest. Um, just a bunch of little books. If you have any kids or smaller people that, that love books, then you could bring them in. Every Saturday, we do a, an art market. It's called Art in the Lot. So all of these artists have been home for a year and a half and they've been trying to uh, you know, make all these things. They've been mm -hmm. sitting there and now they want to sell them. So right. we decided to do that in our parking lot. That's so every awesome. Saturday. Have a bunch of little stickers here. How cute are these? Apparently coloured pencils have become really, really popular since the pandemic because they're kind of like an easier art supply to just use and take on the go. You don't need water or paint brushes or anything. It was also telling me about block printing. This is something that I've never actually tried before, um, but I'm really, really curious too. If anyone has like a decent resource to block painting, feel free to let me know. But they have all of the paints for it. They have like the rollers. They have some Rembrandt pastels. These are only 76 cents. Everything in here is so reasonably priced. I'm actually really, really surprised. Like 76 cents, you can grab a few of these. That's really cool. Chalk pastel colored pencils. I've never heard of these before. That's very interesting. This is an eraser and a brush, whatever that means. It's like a little brush and then this side's an eraser. I'm not sure what the brush is for. But it's cute, it's, it's kind of handy for whatever it's for. <laughs> they have a ginormous canvas. I actually have a canvas that's this big at home, but I have still not used it, but they have giant canvases here. They just got a bunch of the new Posca shades in. I'm not sure if these are like the new ones, but apparently they got a bunch of new shades in. And this store literally is just really big. You would be genuinely surprised how big this store is. Artist panels. So we have a bunch of gouache ink tense pencils. This thing has every Posca that you can think of, just every single one, tons and tons of shades. They have the thick ones, they have the thin ones. You can just like pull it open and pull them out. That's so cool. I've not seen that in any other art store before actually. That's really awesome. Someone keeps saying that I'm filming and they keep avoiding me because they don't want to be in the background. <laughs> I feel so awkward. So they have a bunch of paint brushes right here all the way along. I love the velvet touch. These are beautiful paint brushes, but again, if you like paint brushes that are eco-friendly, keep your eyes peeled. So this right here is a cabinet they have full of everything regarding the history of this store. They have so much stuff here. They have a bunch of golden fluid acrylics here. Um, she was actually telling me this one right here. Have you ever seen this before? These are slow drying acrylics, golden open slow drying acrylic colors. I've never seen these before. Maybe I'm just completely like ignorant because I don't go to like official official art stores. Normally it's like an arts and crafts store, but I've never seen these before. Apparently they're slow drying. Slow dry formula stays wet, use less paint, less waste, ideal for portraiture, plein air and printmaking. This is their acrylic aisle. They have some Winsor & Newton, they have some Graham & Co. Buy three, get one free, that's a good deal. So back here you've got all of the panels, different art panels. They're not panels, they're canvases, clearly. Well, they have literally everything you can think of. They have humongous canvases. This is 24 by 72. Oh, I have never seen a canvas that big before. It's, it's huge. I'm 5'7 for reference. That thing is massive. Crayola. So something she was telling me as well is that they do things like subscription boxes. They actually, if you call up and tell them, oh, I have um, this experience level or if I have kids like ages 3 to 12, um, they will actually curate a box of items for you and send them out to you. So if you are someone that wants some products, they can curate them for you. There's a couple over there with masks on, so I want to be respectful um, and wear my mask too, but um, they have a bunch of more art supplies right here. They have some toned tan cards, cold black cards, stamping cards, hemp cards, watercolor cards, all in different sizes. Basically anything creative that you can think of, they have in this store, whether it's, you know, printmaking, whether it's painting, whether it's fabric, anything you can think of, they have here. Gambin, 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 gam, gambling. 
and artist oil colors. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. I. I had so much fun doing this today, but yeah, I'm so, so excited. So thankful to the managers, Kristen and Amanda, for letting me come here to film. Um, but yeah, for now, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next video.